But speaking of thank you, of course, now we also want to read more of our Slack's top, uh, Slack Chingu's top five. Okay. Um, Josh, and, why don't you? Yeah, so with. this uh, next Chingu, Marika1124, her list, uh, number one winner uh, with Baby Baby. Number baby, two, baby. What to Do uh, by Dane Crush and Jeff Bernay. Uh, number three, Say Yes by Nihua. Uh, number four, Far, Far Away by Jisoo. Number five, Save Me by BTS. Yes, sir. Huh. Interesting. Um, do, okay. This is totally a me thing, right? But like the way... We, so I just copy and pasted what people wrote on Slack, right? Yeah. But for me personally, I always write things artist first. And, and then, then song, song name, right? Yeah. That's how I've always written I, it. I mix it up. I well, no. See, so here's the thing. Here's the yeah. thing, okay? Weirdly, every... I, however it's written, I always read it artist first and singer, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, artist first and song name. Okay. And then when you read it, you always read it uh, song name first and singer name. Second? Yeah. And, which is the way it's written in the first couple you wrote. But yeah. this one specifically is written artist first, but you still switched it to be artist second. And it's just so weird because we're totally different. I don't know if you noticed you did that. I don't. I really didn't notice. But like, you can see right here, right? It's written, yeah, as, it's artist written first, as artist first. But you said all of them as artist second, and I was like, "Really?" Hey, I said, what? "I said a song name first. Oh, I didn't recognize. Yeah, I didn't, didn't realize. Yeah. yeah, it was weird. I was like, "Why would you do that?" And then I was like, "We're totally different people, Josh. You got hot ass hands. I got normal hands. <laughs> 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 that just makes me weird, Stephen. <laughs> I was trying to force it in that way. Yeah. Um. So the next one is by Ali Betwixt. Yeah. Of course, um, what our Chingu that runs EssentialKpop.com. So if you use EssentialKpop.com, Shout out to it's all Ali. Well, not all. I shouldn't say that. That's not because there's a lot of mods that help. There are other us, people uh, on Essential Kpop, but she is definitely the most. Important. She's just so on top of things that yeah. by the time some other people show up, they got nothing to do. Yeah. Um, Which is fine. My bad, guys. Uh, but so Ali Betwixt, she her number one song is uh, "Oh My Girl" with one step, two step. Mm, interesting. Yeah, very, that's, I think, a B-side single mm. um, for the Liar Liar mini album. Uh, number two is Nihua's Say Yes, a which lot of Josh people, just A said. lot of people say I those. really like that song, too. I, I do as well. I almost, almost thought about putting that same. on there. Yeah. It almost cracked my top yeah. one. Uh, number three, Ladies Code Galaxy. Number four is Lucky J, No Love. Hmm. I don't remember that song at all. I do not as well. Yeah. I mean, I, I remember Jesse being yeah. Jesse. Yeah. Um, number five, uh, Produce 101's Fingertips. Got you uh, on my head. Uh, Got you on my head. Uh, no, no, no. Hey, all right. Uh, next one. Uh, so the next song, or the next, not song, but the next Chingu, uh, Josh64, his list. See, now you got me all paranoid about it. Say whatever you want, man. No, Sorry. Okay. Say so, uh, his number one is Call You Bay by uh, Jimin and, of course, Shuman. Uh, Double, Double Min. Min. Uh, number two, Fly by Got7. Number three, The Truth by Jay Park. Number four, Sympathy by Jung Joo Young. Uh, number five, Like an Airplane by Sonny. Be hangy. Be hangy, hangy, hangy. hangy. You know, uh, uh, Jay Park's The well. Truth was also on my short list. I, mm. I, I almost... Uh, I... I but then I realized, like, I, here's my problem with Jay Park's The Truth is that, mm. like, I think it's a decent song, yeah. but, like, his songs were so good last year yeah. that I was just like, no, nah, this isn't, this isn't as good. Mm. That's mm. funny you mentioned that, Stephen, because number four, my song is actually The Truth by Jay Park. Whoa! Yeah. Um. 
so interesting. I so the past year or two, I really, really, really liked the direction that Jay Park has taken with his music. Um, I was either going to pick the truth or the other song that was kind of on the list was "All, All I Want to Do." do. Uh, that song was really good as well. But for some reason, it's not streaming on Korea, so I don't listen to it as much it's as because it's truth. all in English. Josh. It's all in English. Yeah. Um, but the funny thing is, when I search on Melon, mm-hmm. like all when I type in "All I Want," like it auto fills into "All I Want" Puck Table. So people are looking for that song, but it's just, oh, not, it's just not offered. It's not offered on Melon because yeah, 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 it's yeah. in English. Right? Yeah. But uh, the reason why I like the truth is, um, like you said, I will agree that compared to. The songs last year where J Park was just fucking murdering it. Um, it's not as good, but when I compare it to songs that I like this year, it mm-hmm. ranks definitely high um, mm-hmm. on the songs that I like. J Park is doing his J Park thing. He's singing those you know, sweet melodies, right? And yeah, this one is... The one about the breakup and then how... Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I mean, I, you know, in case people haven't heard it, like, it's, it's, it's more... What would be a good... Equivalent, right? Like, because mm. it's not like solo. It's not like hmm. uh, Mome. It's not yeah. like it's more of like a sad. It's more of like a ballad with a beat, right? It's, it's a breakup it's... ballad with a beat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. It's a breakup ballad. I want you back, baby. I messed up. Except kinda. though, the lyrics are the complete really? opposite. But they're very Jay Park. They are. They, they when I when I read the lyrics, when I like hear the song, like I don't necessarily all the time want to relate. Right. Yeah. And Jay Park, like I, we know what kind of Jay Park, Jay Park is. What kind of he, guy he is, he's right? Baller. He a shot caller. And this is like super Jay Parky. Like the lyrics, they ha- they feel more authentic because they are written this way. True. Because I, I feel like he wrote them. This is them. this is the one himself. right where he's like. They break up and he's like, like, I hope you get like crazy menstrual cramps and I yeah, hope you like... I hope when you take a shit, there's no more toilet paper and yeah. when you drop your phone, you break your screen yeah. and things. But he's like, but really, baby, I love you. Yeah. I miss you. I love you. It's like, I think we mentioned at the time, it's like a 15 year old's kind of like, yeah. like, I-, I love you, but fuck you. And I'm angry, but I love, you know. Yeah. But for me, when I hear that, I, f- I can really understand his emotions. Because yeah, he's because yeah. yeah. when you when you when you break up or when you make a decision that you you regret or whatever you always kind of feel very Jekyll and Hyde ish, right? Because there is obviously a reason why you made that decision, but obviously you have to come to grips with the decisions you've made. And Jay Park is kind of like, you know, I was like, "Fuck you, bitch! We broke up." But really, though, I actually do love you. Because as you know, too, when you apologize, you just started with, I hope you fucking fuck your life up. But I, I'm sorry. I love you, love you, baby. Yeah, that, that is so Jay, that is so Jay Park in my head. I don't know who yeah. Jay, I don't know Jay Park, right? Yeah, we don't but, know Jay Park. But it's like so like high school. Like It really seems like, like yeah. something he would write. What are you trying to say? He's like a high school kid? No, that he is very emotional. And he's very Jekyll and Hyde-ish. I think he just slays so much of a JJ. Slay. I feel horrible just saying that. Um, well, that song, of course, not on my list, but it was close. Okay. It was close. Also, the Ready song featuring Jay Park was also very close. That was also very close. Um, but let me go with another guy then. Okay. Since you went with another guy, I'm going to go with another guy. Again, we have a running theme. Girl group or... R&B the guy. <laughs> Single bear Yes, you're uh, right. Because our, <laughs> this is what we like. This, I mean, it's... Yeah. Um, and so Especially my year. fourth song, okay. again, not in any order, mm-hmm. uh, but my fourth song is um, by a brand new music dude. <sighs> what? Yeah. No way. Who would have thought? Who would have thunked it? Now, this one, of course, is a much more popular mm-hmm. guy. He's not Esby, right? You've mm-hmm. heard of this guy. Um, he just had a duet with Rainia. Hey. Uh, or was it Rain? What is it? Rainia? Did I say? R- Raina. 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 Fuck. Because there's a group named Rainia. Yeah. You I always say something. Raina. Raina. Uh-uh. Um, this dude is Sonny. I lost train of thought. Sonny uh, with Gary, of course, yeah. with their song, Like an Airplane. <laughs> I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. No, I didn't dare. No, no, I get. No, chingu, wani, chingu, wa. Let's be friends. Not a guy, get you. Come down, jump. Must be hangy. Be hangy, hangy, hangy. Must be hangy. Be hangy, hangy, hangy. No, I 
love you no no 친구와 네 친구와 let's be friend 날아갈게 지금 당장 must be hangy be hangy 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 주소만 주면 돼 nevi 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 let's have some fun damn it damn it damn it 그 노래 혹시 알아 비긴 노래처럼 make him baby baby 편안한 차림 so good 괜찮아 벌써 순한 경석해서 다 예쁜 얼굴 you know I'm joking 살짝 술 취해 이 성이 없어 남자끼리 다 좋은데 문젠 이 성이 없어 don't you worry 내 친구들 괜찮은 버디 the man or now 근데 놀땐 예의 따윈 버린 미리 말하지 오늘은 좀 그건 옵션 아님 선택장에 있는 널 위해 how about a hotel party 시간은 검 키라고 치면 지금 은 다이몬 클래스만 준비해 그리고 끝 엿먹고 갈라면 친구들 뭐래 call here we go 거의 도착할 때쯤 let me call 지금 뭐해 I'm just chilling 혼자 있어 내 친구들이랑 너 어딘데 놀러 갈게 내 친구와 네 친구와 let's be friend 날아갈게 지금 당장 must be hangy be hangy 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 must be hangy be hangy 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 hairy 너 어딘데 놀러 갈게 내 친구와 네 친구와 let's be friend 날아갈게 지금 당장 be hangy be hangy 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 be hangy I'm actually a little bit surprised that this popped up on your list because when we first listened to it uh, we did like it Mm-hmm. But I remember uh, I had heard this song before we had done the podcast. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, this song is pretty good. Mm-hmm. And it might have been because I said it was pretty good. But when you listened to it, you you weren't like super thrilled about it. I was not. Yeah. I, I wasn't like, I wasn't like instantly like, let's go. Yeah. What changed? What uh, changed? Well, what changed is um, the overall quality of songs not, this, uh, this year. Fair enough, fair enough. Not, this is not great. Um, like, I mean, I, I don't want to say, like, I, mm. I will say, though, that, like, this could totally be one of those things where it just came out a couple, like, very, relatively recently mm. as we're making this list. Um, we didn't mention this at the top, but, like, this, the five that I picked today mm. could totally change tomorrow. Same. They, they could change in an hour. I'm now, and I was just kind of like, oh, I should have picked that song. Yeah. Um... And this song is definitely one that I was like in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Mm-hmm. Um, because I really do like this song. Again, it's so fun. It, this is mm-hmm. the Sani that I love, right? Sure. Um, and it could just be because it happened, it came out relatively soon. And so I've been listening to yeah, it a lot recently. Run, yeah. um, I'm not tired of it yet. Yeah. But like, again, it, it makes you happy. It makes me happy. You enjoy it. I enjoy There's it. nothing wrong with that. I picture Sani's smiling motherfucking face. Walk, walking around, um, pulling at things, pulling, doing his thing, and like I just, I don't know it. I almost put in. I really was thinking about putting in BTS to save me. You heard mm-hmm. me listen to it a lot. I, I also really like um, that song as well. But in the end, I, I would still rather listen to this song. Mm-hmm. Um, but like the BTS Save Me is probably six or seven, and yeah, it's very close. even the EXO song is pretty up there. Yeah, EXO um, it, that was also in the running for me. I, I really like that song when it first came out, and I also really like it now. Yeah, I, although although I do think I like Save Me more than the EXO song. Mm-hmm. Um, the EXO song still has like parts where I feel kind of feel fillers, like, uh, yeah, yeah, filler parts. Not um, not quality part. But anyways, uh, that is my uh, four songs. Sonny, 